All right, thank you very much, Matt. Now, we have a special guest here at Montana this morning. This is Cassie Birch. Cassie Birch is the treasurer for the Ukraine uh, relief effort that was started over at MSU by a couple of students, Cassie being one of them. So, Cassie, tell me a little bit about why you started this effort. Take me back a year ago. Yeah, so a year ago, the war began, mm -hmm. and I have friends in Ukraine. And so my conversations very quickly went from, you know, a few weeks prior mm -hmm hey, how you doing? And them telling me what projects they were up to, what they were you know, doing with their weekend, and it became, we're still safe. It's a little dangerous here, and we're kind of scared. And my main question, and my first question was, is anyone helping? Can I help? And the answer was, people are helping, but we're just not seeing a lot of that. And so I became super insistent on figuring out ways to get help to the people I knew and the people I knew who needed it. And uh, my, I have a good friend in Odessa, in the Odessa region, and he went from his journalism job to heading kind of a volunteer coordination that supports the IDPs and the families who have come to his area um, because of you know threats in other parts and fled from occupied zones. Right. So um, I started doing that, and I very quickly met up with other people who wanted to do the same thing, mm -hmm. and I was lucky enough to meet a girl named Carolina, mm -hmm. also at MSU. She's in the architecture department doing her master's. And she is Polish and has a lot of Polish friends who are super dedicated, incredible people, and that want to help Ukraine just as much as we did over here, of course, and right. probably more so. Right. And so with her network, combined with um, my fundraising, my business skills, mm -hmm. we combined and we were able to really start fundraising around Bozeman. And then from there, we just talked to so many people and really just became an organization because, yep. <laughs> that, that's just fantastic. Well, and I mean, that was a year ago. Now, fast forwarding to today, you, it's grown so much. The organization itself has, and you yourself are, are heading to Ukraine in, in a few weeks. So what, what's the goal when you head over there? So a big part of what we're doing this trip for, and we've done quite a few trips like this before, mm -hmm. is we um, and our volunteers collect medical supply donations from the community of Bozeman. Mm -hmm. um, people donate as individuals, clinics donate, hospitals mm -hmm. donate, and a lot of it is surplus goods that you know are perfectly good to mm -hmm. use and they don't have any room for them. Mm -hmm. So we're able to get all these donations for free and we just need to get them to Ukraine. So we fly to Poland, we rent a van, and then we drive them into Ukraine where we work with the hospital, mm -hmm. uh, clinics, an IDP center, mm -hmm. and so a large part of it is just moving these supplies. <laughs> now, one interesting thing, if somebody wants to help, but maybe, you know, they're not in the medical field or, you know, what would you, what would you recommend they do? Where can they find you guys? Yeah, so um, we have a website, ukraineRelieffeffort.org, and we're always looking for people who have any kind of skill and really just have the time they want to dedicate to us. We have quite a few volunteers who are retired professionals mm -hmm. and they, they want to help, weren't sure how to help, and we've had quite a few of them come to Ukraine with us just, just to drive. And then once we get into, we work a lot with the town of Kopachinsky, mm -hmm. which is on the um, western part of mm -hmm. Ukraine, so it's a little bit safer. Mm -hmm. So we'll go there and set people up in the volunteer center, uh, the IDP center, doing service projects and you know helping them out there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also bring EMTs and people with medical training, mm -hmm. and they'll just hop in the ambulances and go serve around where they are most needed. Fantastic work you and, and the rest of the volunteers do. Thank you so much for coming on this morning to share a little bit more about the Ukraine uh, relief effort. And if anyone would like some more information, we'll have links on our website. Um, Cassie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We'll have more of your headlines and some more forecast updates for you when Montana This Morning returns.